Yo, 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 Wang Wang, what's good? It's your boy Kit Man and I, and I'm back again with another video. And today, I've got a guest. What's up? Myself, Miles, in the building. Yeah, it is Arsenal versus United today. I'm a Guna, as you already know. This is my best friend, Miles. He supports the greatest club to ever embrace football. Whatever. Right? right? And yeah, we're just gonna have some fun. Um, Blow of our experience of the game. We're not actually going to the match. We're going down the battle cruiser. At some point. Yeah, we're gonna watch the game and we're just gonna banner each other for the whole day and there will be forfeit. Before we go any further, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, hit the button. Yeah. If you like this video, drop a follow. And if you like this style of content and you want me to meet up with fans of teams that Arsenal are playing against and do this kind of content again, make sure you comment below and let me know that you want to see some more. If Arsenal win, right, this guy here has a choice of forfeit. It's either a, cold, um, a bucket of ice cold water over his head or a spoonful of pepper, spoon, uh, pepper sauce, right? And the same goes for if Man United win. If Man United win. When Man United win. Whatever. And if it's a draw, we both have to do a forfeit. And we literally flip a coin. One of us gets the pepper sauce. And the other one gets the cold bucket of water over their head. So there will be a forfeit. So stick around to see if one or both of us nah, end up on a mat team. So what are you saying for the game anyway? Listen. You, you, I was going to say, yeah, Ted Hogg. Yeah, ten, ten, who though? Ten half, man. Because you know, take listen. At the end of the day, this is the first time that we've started a season so poorly and then returned to. It was a that different. Poor. No, 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 no. It was. Come on, getting packed like that. Like, what by Brentford? Brentford. That was ridiculous, right? And so was um, Brighton. But we're trying a new style of play. Yeah. We're trying a new style of play. It's a new regime. We've got. You're basically trying players. to be Manchester Ajax. No, 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 no. Don't even try it like that yet because ultimately, yes, he played in Ajax and whatever. He just knows what He's players. literally signed an Ajax squad. He's signed what? Two players from Ajax. Donny van der Beek. Yeah, that he, was... didn't, he didn't sign, but he didn't he, sign he's that, there. So. Um, didn't Ericsson play for Ajax at one point as well? He comes from I the same school of training. football. I think he did some training with them um, um, when he was out. That, that total football. And listen, Ajax are not a bad model. Like they, I think Ajax, been... Ajax would have piped you last season. No, mm, no, we were good. Bro, they won the league and they, yeah. and they won their domestic. Cup Eighty million pound for Anthony who? <laughs> Better than Joshua, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> than Joshua. Hopefully, Anthony does start today. Um, I'm interested to see it. Uh, we haven't had like a, a talisman right winger. What since Ronaldo? Since Ronaldo, no. And I think. Yeah, pound for pound, we have overpaid for him, obviously, but that's, now, that's what Man United do. But that's Man United tax. Do, do you know who tax. I am? I am worried about um, Casemiro and Arsenal's midfield because um, the lineups haven't been announced yet. Uh, Erdegaard looks like it's touch and go whether he's going to be in that midfield, and he has been integral to how Arsenal have been playing so far this season. He's pressing, he's so comfortable on the ball. I mean, we do have Smith Rowe who can come in, and Fabio Vieira, who we haven't seen. We see Thomas Partey's out, Mohamed Elneny's out. How's Partey out? Um, injury. Not for any of that other stuff that we're not really allowed to mention on YouTube. Listen, um, yeah, yeah, they're a good lawyer, really. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a good legal yeah, team. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Cristiano Ronaldo had similar accusations made against him, and everyone's forgotten all about it. Yeah, fling 10 bags at hate. Right? I reckon we should do a combined 11. All right. So, so in goal, you're going for people. Wait, are we going to do this on current form or on how good the player is? Because I think that makes a huge difference. Well, how good the player is. Right? All right, cool. So, De Gea is a good goalkeeper, bro. He, he, he is. He's a good goalkeeper. He absolutely like, is. I don't like all this disrespect for De Gea now, do you? He does have shaky moments. Yeah. But I but... think he plays in a shaky team. And I think how good De Gea is speaks volumes that for was it like four years in a row he was your player of the season uh, Ramsdale, right. Ramsdale's in and then what right back um who have you got 
We've got, so Tommy Asu is our right back, but he hasn't been able to get into the team because Benjamin White covered there and he has been top quality. Ah, uh, Ben Wright then, because I don't really, the lot leaves a lot to be desired. desired. <laughs> no. um, obviously, wan Saka ain't ever getting back into the, into the squad. Even though he's defensively he's a sensational right back. All right, um, I'm just going to put my, <laughs> you see, this is going to be really unfair. But Saliba and Gabriel, like on current form. Nah, bruv, Malice, bruv, are you mad? No, it's got to be uh, Martinez and it's got to be Varane. Like, I'm sorry, Martinez and Varane. No! Are you alright? No, you Saliba, right? Saliba. Martinez is better than, better than Saliba. He is already, like, three, what, three man Saliba of the is arguably the best man centre the back in the league. Man of the, man of the match. Oh, Saliba has been man of the match or close to because yeah, the other players have been that it? good. But has he actually won the man of the match for Saliba? I think he has. Right. Against Palace when he scored, he scored. Listen, Saliba is an absolute. He is going in that. Like, Gabriel has been good. He is a good centre back. I may concede, maybe. Uh, no, uh, no, they what side? What side is? What side is Saliba? Um, so Saliba is right sided, but we can have two. Right, cool, yeah, so go, go right sided. Like Saliba. Martinez. Yeah. Ryan's is fucking sick, bro. I mean, Arsenal did try to side him. Right, he, I know. He, did he, he, he choose? Did he choose us over you? He chose his old manager. No, no, no he chose. Uh, he chose a better club anyway. Whatever. Right. Zinchenko was a better signing. Right, so that leads us on to left back, Zinchenko or Tierney. Um, I'm. I mean, as in for Arsenal, we we've had Zinchenko and Tierney play left back. I would put Zinchenko, Zinchenko then, in there. Based on how good he actually is, he, he, he does he's go in. Yeah, he's, mm. the mo- he's the most... But exactly we ain't right. seen him kick... We, we saw him kick a ball for about 10 minutes. Yeah, but he controlled the game for that time. 10 minutes, yeah. that, so Against like, Leicester. Yeah, but he controlled the Leicester. Like, I'm happy to put Casemiro in, but then the next two are Arsenal. What do you mean? The next two no, midfielders... Go on. Go on. Erdegaard right. is in there. Yeah. And Thomas Partey played double pivot. Mm, I don't or, know. But not like Fred. Or what, Bruno Fernandes? Yeah. Fernandes is overall a better player than fucking Partey so far, mate. Right? He is. No I mean, they're different types of players. Yeah, I overall. mean, if we're going to play with one holding midfielder, Casemiro, mm-hmm. who will allow um, Erdegaard and Fernandes to press on and do whatever cool. it is that they want to do. No, I do like that. Fernandez, but yeah. for the last season and a half, he hasn't really done much. I think Ronaldo covered it has messed him up. I think he's messed him up. I suppose I am happy to go with Erdegaard and Fernandez. Fernandez. Because right. he is quality. Um right side Bakaya Saka. Yeah, cool, no argument there. No. Um left side Sancho, don't check me. I like Sancho. Yeah. But no, Martinelli. Sancho. Sancho, bro. I, I like Sancho. I, and also, I do, wait, I how, do. Many, how many goals has Martinelli scored this season so far? Three, four? Is it? Yeah, he scored okay. I, I, he's, uh, minimum two. I'm sure it's three goals he's got this season. I think Sancho has got three as well. So, so I, I, like I said, I <laughs> like Sancho. Um, All right. I liked him a lot when he was at Dortmund. So and was... up front, through the middle, Gabriel Jesus. Oh, fuck off. Ronaldo, bro. Ren- <sighs> really? We haven't even got Martial, so he's off. He's off uh, injured. Rashford ain't coming in. Gabriel though. Jesus, <sighs> Ronaldo though, bro. Because the thing is, you remember he likes playing against you. No, I, I hear he it. He likes playing. He, against he you, will yes. score against us yeah, today. Absolutely. He he will uh, if he gets on the pitch. But he's not even your starting centre forward. He might be this season. He might be today because Martial's not about. But just in uh, Gabriel Jesus. Like, I, I don't think... Uh, I mean, we have to have Wingy as a sub, then. Oh, well, yeah. It. The rest of the band, they were on the sub, right? So, what are we saying? So, the combined 11 is... Um, who's in charge? Ten Hag or Arteta? Ten Hag. He's more decorated as a manager, bro. That's only because Arteta's just started, but his philosophy... No, no, he's more decorated. And also, he's played under... like He's, he's learnt under... The, the big boys. Like, yeah, I mean, listen, he's he's he's, he's, he's you, you don't become rates, you don't become an Ajax manager 
And he's, um, re- he's, re- he's rebuilt two squads there. Yeah, for, for, for no reason. Like, you don't. Like, Ajax is the pinnacle of a football academy and a philosophy of football. Like, that is world-renowned. But what Arteta is building, has built, as an inexperienced manager, as well as um, everyone's called in it, Pep Guardiola's cone boy, yeah, and all of that stuff, he's done well. I'll tell. Right, you lot decide. You lot decide who's managing the oh, squad. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. Right? Done. It's gotta be. And before we get down the battle cruiser. And actually, he's done more in Champions League. Yeah, but Arteta hasn't been in the Champions League. Right, so, sh- so then shut your mouth! No! No! He hasn't even played in the Champions League, let alone got outside of the fucking group stage. Move, bruv! No! No, no, I'm not having that. No, right. I'm not having that. Comments, deal with it. Who's the manager? Before we get down the battle cruiser, right, and have some fun. Score prediction for today. 2-1, Man United. I'm going to go 3-2 Arsenal. Nah, can't happen. Can't happen. It can't I'm, happen. I'm going 3-2 nah, Arsenal. Can't happen. We're not doing it. I'm going 3-2 Arsenal. We could even get a 3 0 off you. We could. We could probably get it. It's Old Trafford, bro. It's Old Trafford. Like, you guys get shaky when you go to Old Trafford. You always have done as well. I mean, even last Trafford, season, like, like, like we yeah. went there on form. You look were on rubbish form. We went 1-0 up and then Ronaldo came and... Yeah, fought, like, yeah. So, But I'm going 3-2 Arsenal. This is an important game for away, Arsenal to win. Yeah, away at yeah, Old Trafford. 3-2 away at Old Trafford. Uh, Arsenal's Arsenal. mentality this season, Not yeah, possible, it's like a team score a goal. Arsenal's like, all right, cool, say nothing, we're coming for you. Like Arsenal's mentality this season has yeah, been... You don't have what we have, bro. Uh, Arsenal yeah, got yeah. cojones. Um, I'm going 3-2 Arsenal. It's a big, big game for both teams. If Arsenal win this game... And I know it's early in the season. I'm not saying Arsenal are going to win the league and you all that crazy win stuff, shit, bro. right? But if Arsenal win this game today, we go five, uh, four points clear at top of the table after um, what's it? Man City drew yesterday with Aston Villa, which Aston Villa should have won. That was an absolutely yeah, that outrageous. Was, that, was a that was an absolutely outrageous um, call by VAR yesterday. But yeah, man, catch you lot down the battle cruiser. Before we even went out, the lineups have been released. So, uh, what are the lineups? Well, so for Man United. Man United, so we've got obviously De Gea. Yeah. Um, Diego De Lot. Yeah. On the right. Viran, left, uh, right centre mi- uh, cent- uh, centre back. Um, Lissandro Mar- Martinez, yep. left centre back. And Tyro Mal- Malasia. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. seems pretty decent, to be fair. Then we've got Scott McTominay. And Christian Eriksen. No Casemiro. No Casemiro. Got and then Bruno Fernandes. And then we've got Jaden Sancho on the left. Anthony on the fucking right. All right. Yeah. Let's see what this good's about. Yeah. Theatre of dreams, mate. And who's up front? Rashi or... I think we've got Rashi up front, but I don't think he's going to And, and your there. bench? Uh, on the bench, we've got... Tom Heaton. Yeah. Martin. Why have we got two substitute goalkeepers? Jabrefka. The, yeah, Jabrefka. Um, Luke Shaw, Victor Lindelof, Lindelof, Harry Maguire, Casemiro, Fred, Anthony Alanga, and Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, that yeah. sounds like squad. Mm. That sounds like squad. Right, what have you got? Right, Arsenal. So you've got Aaron Ramsdale. Oh, he's fit. Yes, good. Ben White. Yep. William Saliba. Yep. Gabriel. Yep. Um, Alexander Zinchenko. Zinchenko is fit, yes. Right. Uh, Albert Sampi. Lokonga. Cool. Yeah. Granit Xhaka. Yep. Martin Odegaard. He's fit, come on! Bukio Sako. Yep. Sako. Um, Martinelli. Yeah, Martinelli and Jesus. Jesus yeah. uh, bench. Uh, Ram. Okay, there you got Matt Turner. Yep. Kieran Tierney. Mm. Rob Holding. Mm. Cedric Suarez. Yep. Tekihiro. Tomiyasu. Yeah. Uh, Smith Rowe, yep. Fabio Vieira, yep. Eddie Nikita, and Kate, yeah, yep. and Martinez. Do you still stand by your? Yeah, absolutely. Two one. Yeah, it's Old Trafford, bro. It's Old Trafford. I, I, I'm sticking by my three two. Our players, yeah, Old Trafford, bro. Let's go. Right, let's get down the pub. <laughs> Yeah. 
No t-shirt <laughs> and new sport of red. I'm a mean, I mean United fan. Cool. <laughs> Score prediction for today. Um, my heart says. 3 1 Arsenal. Based yeah. on what? Based on <laughs> my heart. The record at Old Trafford is, is appalling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you couldn't even know. beat Michael Carrick's team last week. No, <laughs> it's true, though. Nah, I think we've got Jesus up front. Top Erdegaard's guy. Fit. Erdegaard's fit. Zinchenko's back. No right. Casemiro. No Casemiro. By the way, Jesus is where it stops, right? It is. That's the end of that team. So nah. we haven't got a prediction out of you. Well, it's going to be 1-1. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> you bottled it. <laughs> it's still, it's still, it's still, it's, we're still at... We've got good defence, but the rest is still not working out. What? Nah, man. It's not working out. We're going to Alright, we're down the cruise right, that's on. Where, that's where the pleasantries end. Yeah, no, fuck you now, innit? <laughs> All Arsenal <laughs> fans have to do it. 2 1 Arsenal. 3 1 Arsenal. 2 2. 2 1 United. 3 0 Arsenal. 2 0 United. 2 0 United. 2 0 United. 2 0 United. I'm going to say 2 1 United. 2 0 United. 1 0 United. 2 1 United. On my back. VAR disallowed the goal. Still nil nil. Soft. If that's in the penalty area, it's not giving us a penalty. But whatever. We move. scored for Man United is 1-0 on his fucking debut at Old Trafford don't chat well we've held it up a little bit of magic from Anthony but like, there was a little bit of magic from him don't even try hate don't even try hate and it's at Old Trafford I told you what was going to happen I told you oh you are chatting yeah look at him so hard time pulls it's been a pretty fucking good game actually my yard, I think it's up here. Yeah, hundred percent. Arsenal will score though. Arsenal will score though. We score. Definitely, yeah. yeah. We're, we're losing it in midfield, innit? it? That's it. Yeah, I mean, Thomas Partey, Thomas Partey. We ain't the same. We ain't the same without. Yeah, yeah. we can do with Louis. We can do with Louis right now. I just don't think Lukonga's. May Partey, mate. Like he actually makes that team run. Like without him, he's just. A DM is such an important part of a team. Yeah. So, score prediction. I'm still saying it's going to be 2 1 Gunners, isn't it? It's going to be 2 1 Gunners. 2 1 Arsenal, mate. 2 1 Arsenal. I'm going to say that. Arteta's going to grill them. Arteta's going to start talking about light bulbs. Exactly, bro. He's going to talk about light bulbs. I went to hospital when I was serving that. I'm going to have a look at that. Hey? Who's going to start talking about light bulbs? Who's going to start talking about light bulbs? The goal, yeah, it's definitely a free kick. You can't bundle into the back of someone and not get the ball. I expect it not to be a free kick. Score prediction? He won't be the same. Oh, 3 0. Ronaldo's going to come on and get a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, second half, let's go. Second half, let's go. Sparta! 
Two one United. Marcus Rashford. Okay. Right, so it's 74 minutes, 2 1 to Manchester United, and Arteta has made a ballsy substitution. He's gone three at the back, he's brought Fabio Vieira, Smith Rowe, and Eddie Nketiah, and he is going for it. Arteta said, I would rather lose 3 1 or 4 1 than go out with a whimper at 2 1. Come on, Arsenal, let's get back into this, man. Let's go. So, it's 75 minutes, one minute later, and the roll of the dice is offside. It's 3-1. It's 3-1. The roll of the dice didn't work. United scored literally like 30 seconds after the substitutions were made. It looks like I'm doing a full fit, didn't it? You're doing the full fit. <laughs> Wait, do I get to choose which full fit you do? Wait, do I get to choose which one you're doing? It's the ice bucket for you, bro. It's the ice bucket for you. You have to hold that pawn. Come into old chapter chat and shit. Is it mad? Unlucky. Unlucky, man. You got banged hard by Marcus Rashford. He's back. That's fun for us. Nah. Disappointed. But ultimately, you know, we go again. United away. It's always going to be tough. Fourth, maybe fifth, but I, I'm not one of these guys who's like, oh, it's all on Champions League. It's all on. I just, as long as there's a good feeling around Arsenal, I don't really, I don't, I don't Arsenal mind too much. Mentality. Arsenal mentality, I don't care, man. I don't what about you? Uh, I think we'll do well to get uh, fourth, but you never know. City are not great. Liverpool are not great. Spurs are okay. Spurs, are, you know. I think there's a there's a possibility, and Chelsea are what the fuck ever ever Chelsea are at the moment. No one knows. So I think between the sort of like the traditional big six, I think there's a big battle there. <laughs> <laughs> Realizing your dreams since forever. Right, so it's full time. <laughs> on the way back to the car. Yep. My thoughts on the game. You got hyped, bro. It was a good game. It was. It was a pretty even game. Yeah, it was. According to the scoreline, it was very much one side. Yes, but sometimes the scoreline isn't always. It was a good game. Arsenal played well for large portions of the game. I would even go as far as to say we were probably the better team on the balance of play. Um, we went 2-1 down. Arteta rolled the dice. time for my full fit. Yeah. <laughs> and you decided what full fit I'm yeah, doing as well. Yeah, wetting you up, bro. Wetting. What? Man's doing the ice bucket challenge, yeah? You have yeah. to do the ice bucket, bro. Have to. Coming out here, blogging in my yard and all of them things there, and the next thing, you're holding corn. Right. See you when it's wetting time. Right, so um, Arsenal lost. Yeah, you got piped. <laughs> Which means I'm outside, naked, in my boxes, in my garden, and Miles has got <laughs> a bucket of water. Absolutely, 
I absolutely do. A whole bottle. A whole, a whole bucket. And there was ice well. in there. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Yeah? Nah. Thou shalt not talk, court, talk, crap, crap about a man's team. <laughs> 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 yeah. Manchester United all the way. Listen. <laughs> I think it man man. Make sure you like the video. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Follow me, the vice as well, don't always have to See you at the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs>